One of the tasks in CANSAT's primary mission is to measure the air temperature during the CANSAT's flight. This can be done by building a simple circuit based on an electronic component called a thermistor. The resistance of a thermistor changes with temperature as seen in this graph from the CANSAT manual. Because the resistance decreases with increasing temperature, it's called a negative temperature coefficient or NTC temperature sensor. In the circuit which I'm about to build, there's a potential divider circuit. This means that the voltage, or potential, at the black dot between the two resistors, 10K and RT, the thermistor, depends on the value of RT. Thus, the voltage at pin A0 changes when the resistance of the thermistor changes due to temperature change. Similarly to the calibration curve we've just seen, you can make a calibration curve for your thermistor by plotting V at A0 against temperature. To build this circuit, we need a 10K resistor, a thermistor, and some wires and breadboard on the Arduino. Okay, the 10K resistor, the values of resistors are identified by the color coding bands on them. Okay, you'll find more of this on the web or your physics book. Um, so this one is brown, black, orange. Now, in this, I'm going to connect the power from the Arduino to the rails this time on the board. So I'm taking this wire and connecting it into the 5 volt socket on the Arduino, and then onto the power rail here. And I'm going to connect ground from the Arduino onto the blue track on the board. Then I'm going to take my resistor connect it anywhere along that track there because the 5 volts is all along there and then into one of the rows here and the thermistor one leg into the same row and the other one has to get to ground it won't actually stretch far enough so we'll use another little jumper wire from this row down to the bottom track and both the resistor and the thermistor can go in either way around it doesn't matter then we need to tap off from where the resistor meets the thermistor and connect this into the A0 pin on the Arduino. Okay, so that's our circuit built. Next we need to write our program and then download it to the Arduino. Okay, now let's connect the Arduino to the computer and we'll get ready to upload the program. Now we'll go back to the Arduino IDE and the program we're going to use this time comes as standard with the Arduino software. So I'm going to go into File, Examples, Basics and I'm going to open a program called Read Analog Voltage. Okay, I'll just bring that to full screen so you can see it better. Now this program has comments written in. You can see anything that's between a slash and an asterisk or a single line just after two slashes is just a comment. That's something that helps the human reader or programmer to know what's going on in the program. So this program starts, like the last one, with void setup. And what gets set up in this program is this line here, serial begin 96000. That allows the Arduino to send data out on its serial pin, that TX pin that we talked about earlier, which is also the digital I.O. pin 0. The main loop of the program is here. This gets repeated over and over again. First line here is going to read in the value on pin A0. So that's going to read the voltage that's between the resistor and the thermistor. And it's going to call it by the name sensor value. Next line here, we do a little mathematical conversion on that value to change it to a voltage. Now the explanation of what is going on here is a little bit more complex than I want to go into here but you'll find information on it on the CANSAT man manual maybe if you look up something on the web about analog to digital conversion or talk to your physics teacher then the next line serial print line voltage will send those voltage readings to the serial port and we'll be able to see it on screen here all right, now that the program is ready, we're going to verify. There shouldn't be any errors in this one. So, so it's done compiling. Now we'll upload. Cables connected to the Arduino. Our circuit's built, and we're uploading the program. So the bottom of the screen is now saying it's done uploading. 
So now that program is running on the Arduino and we have our thermistor circuit connected. So if I open this serial monitor, we should see the data coming in. Okay, and here we see the voltage values that the Arduino is reading from our circuit. I could slow that down a little bit, it's running a little bit quickly. So what I might do is add a little line in here with a delay on it. I'll make a delay maybe 700. Okay, now I'm going to recompile and upload that program. Now you don't actually have to do verify separately. If you want you can go straight to upload. That will do verify as well in the one instruction. So we're now overwriting our old version of this on the Arduino and the new version in. So let's look at our serial window again and see our data coming in. And now it's coming in a little more slowly. It's easier to read. If I put my finger on the thermistor, that should cause its temperature to rise and cause the voltage to change at A0. And if we look at the screen, we'll see it change. Okay. So now, as the thermistor warms up, you can see the voltage readings dropping there. I release the thermistor, take my hand off, it cools down again, and the voltage readings go up. That's because it's the negative NTC thermistor.